this week's cardiology countdown, we start with what may be a, a, a recent or final word on the question of drug eluting stent versus bare metal stents. This in the highest risk patients, those with STEMI. This is, of course, where the whole firestorm started, where an observational study from a registry suggested higher mortality in those getting a drug eluting stent. Well, thankfully, there have been randomized trials that take out the confounding. And uh, published this uh, week is a meta-analysis in the archives of 13 trials using patient level data in 11 of them, looking at bare metal versus drug eluting stents in STEMI. And what was seen was a significant about 40% reduction in target vessel revascularization from 20 down to about 12% but no difference whatsoever in death or MI or early stent thrombosis, uh, all the feared complications. There was, however, a difference in late or very late stent thrombosis um, that is consistent with what's known of drug eluting stents. And so this demonstrates the safety and efficacy of drug eluting stents in this high risk population uh, from randomized trial data. At this week's number two spot is a paper on Galectin-3, a biomarker um, that looks at fibrin uh, deposition and fibrosis in the heart. Um, this is a novel biomarker that's approved for risk stratification in heart failure. And this was looked at in the corona study, which was a study of ischemic heart failure patients looking at a statin versus placebo with rosuvastatin. And a very interesting finding was found that in this case, those with a low biomarker appeared to have greater benefit, in this case, of the statin. And so looking at patients below the median of Galectin-3, they had a significant reduction in total mortality and the primary endpoint of, of heart failure or death. Um, and those above the median for Galectin-3 did not appear to have benefit of the uh, statin. And when they combined with BNP, interestingly, again, the low BNP and low Galectin-3 patients had an even greater benefit of the statin. So a new biomarker that may pick out those patients with more ischemia and less advanced uh, heart failure that may be less modifiable. And at the number one spot, have a paper in Jack looking at a plerinone uh, that was seen to reduce the risk of developing new onset atrial fibrillation. This was a, a sub-analysis from the Emphasis HF study. Uh, that was a randomized trial, showed a benefit of uh, a plerinone in mild to moderate heart failure. And here we see an added benefit of a reduction in development of atrial fibrillation. This may relate to atrial remodeling uh, or just improved hemodynamics, um, but in any case, a, a nice finding of an additional benefit overall. They also found a reduction in, in the primary endpoint in patients with or without atrial fibrillation at baseline, uh, meaning that this is really a, a, a new therapy we need to make sure that all patients with heart failure are getting. So for this week's Cardiology Countdown, I'm Chris Cannon.